Hey guys, it's Nina. I just wanted to film a quick uh, video of some of the products that I hauled in my last e.l.f. haul. There were some products in there that um, that I wanted to review for you guys or give you guys at least a first impression. I think I would call it more of a first impression because I haven't used these products um, for any ongoing time. I This is my first time using them. So as I talk through or actually I tried to do a talk through and it was just taking too long so I'm going to do a voiceover. Um, but as I talk about the products um, during the tutorial I'll give you my quick first time impression of how the products applied or worked or whether they didn't work, whether it's something that I would purchase again or probably pass on the next go round. But if you would like to see how I achieved this, um, what I would consider a springtime look, it's basically lavender purple eyes with a bold um, liner not much of a wing, just a very slight flick at the end, and then the pink lips to go with the uh, purpley eyes. I think this is a very nice look if you're going to any sort of outing or if you're just going out for lunch with your family or friends. Um, a look that I would wear to church. I would actually wear this to the office as well. Um, but that's me. Some people think this might be a little bit too bright and bold for work, but I'm okay with it. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, please continue to watch. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, it's Nina. I am recording for you this video. The first product that I'm using is the e.l.f. mist. It's the moisture mist and I'm just using it sort of to moisturize my face right there. And then next I'm going in with the mineral powder, uh, mineral primer from e.l.f. I'm using about a pea size amount and I'm placing it in the areas where I tend to get oily or where I have enlarged pores right there on the sides of my cheeks and my nose. And next, I am going in with the e.l.f. Moisture Foundation. There's two different colors that I purchased. One is nude and one is honey. And you would think, based upon the term honey, you would think it would be a little bit darker. But what I found out was um, the honey is more yellow-toned and the nude is very pink. Oh, I'm sorry, the other way around. Honey is actually very pink undertone and nude is very uh, is more of a yellow base which is what I need but it's still kind of light for my complexion I definitely would have preferred a darker complexion uh, or a, dar a darker foundation color but I had to make it work so I have put it on and it seems to be going on rather smooth um, it doesn't look that terrible after I've blended it in I do still wish that I had something darker but Oh well, we'll make it work. Now I'm going in with my Garnier Under Eye uh, Dark Circle Eraser. And basically I use this to uh, depuff my eyes and also to highlight the area around my eyes so that it looks a little bit brighter. So sort of in the place of a concealer. Um, okay, so then I'm going to go in with my favorite loose powder. This is the Translucent Extra Coverage from Airspun and I'm using an e.l.f. complexion brush. So I am placing that underneath my eyes where I just placed that uh, concealer and then uh, just a quick buff around my face just to kind of mattify everything because that moisture stick foundation does have a slight dewy finish. It's not super dewy but at the same time it did feel a little bit tacky on my skin. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. cool bronzer and I'm using this just to uh, put a little bit of contour right there um, underneath my cheekbone because I tend to have a very rounded face. So I wanted to put in a little bit of a contour just to um, give myself a little bit more dimension in my face. I'm also going at the bottom of my jawline to slim down those uh, double chins. So get rid of that weight. <laughs> Now I'm using a small brush to just go in and contour my nose a little bit to make it a little bit more um, narrow, but it, it, the bronzer is actually a little bit blotchy, so um, I'm having to do a lot more blending there, as you can see, and I'm actually going to go in with a 
the bigger powder brush and try to blend that down a little bit more because it, it did come out a little bit blotchy. So I don't know if that's the best use for that. But um, then I'm going in with that light square that's in that mosaic palette um, just to brighten up the center of my nose to kind of make it look more straight and uh, stand up a little bit more. Okay, and next I'm going in with the e.l.f. Trio, Baked Eyeshadow Trio. I think it's called Lavender Love. And the first color up, then I realized I need to go in. <laughs> I need to put my base down first. So I'm using the e.l.f. Smudge Pot. I can't remember the color, but it's the one that's kind of like a light gold shade. And it's a very gel-like texture. And uh, I'm going in with a concealer brush, which is synth synthetic. So I'm placing that right on my mobile eyelid area, and it's not picking up real well, but it's basically just a light, shimmery shade, and I'm using it sort of a, as a base, uh, not on its own, so it will work for this purpose. I'm placing it, again, on my mobile lid, as well as I'm going to place it right in the inner corners and right underneath the, um, the first third of my eye. The only thing is the color is very light, so I was hoping it would have more of a brightening effect, but that doesn't seem to be working so well. But that's okay. We'll go with it. Uh, so far, not sure about that product. So now we're going in with that mid-tone lavender color, and I'm placing it right on my eyelid on top of the base that I just laid down. And the color is okay. I did find that it was not the easiest to get the best payoff, um, color payoff with these baked eyeshadows. I think I've had a lot more luck with the single e.l.f. eyeshadow baked uh, eyeshadow palettes, or not palette, but the singles. They tend to work a little bit better, and the color payoff, I think, is better than these. So I'm not sure how highly I would recommend these. But So I'm going to have to go in with my Revealed palette. And I'm using just that um, matte color that's kind of a muted, um, taupey lavender color just to give myself a little bit of a transition shade and uh, darken up that crease area. I don't have very deep set eyes, so in order to give myself a little bit of an illusion, um, I do have to use a, a color to kind of bring out some of the... Um, the crease. Now I'm going in with this very light, uh, it's a very pale, pale beige color, but it does have a little bit of shimmer. I'm placing that as my brow bone hi highlight. And uh, I did notice that it, it's a little, it's not the easiest to blend as well. So I'm going in with a blending brush. Um, this is a blending brush that I purchased from Icing, and I really like those, by the way. So now I'm going in with a darker purple. It's a deep plum color. I'm using a, a pencil brush from Crown Brushes. And I'm going to try to deepen up that crease and give the illusion of a little bit more of a deep set eye. So I'm darkening up the outer V of my eye. And uh, I'm going to blend that out with my blending uh, crease brush from Real Techniques just to give a little bit more dimension to the eye because right now everything looks kind of flat. So that color is really pretty, but if it's an evening look, I probably would add in a little bit of black to that area. But for now, this is just a daytime spring look, so I'm just going to use that plum color. And again, I am blending that out with the Real Techniques crease brush. Okay, so because I see that the color payoff isn't that great on this trio, I'm actually going to use a synthetic brush, and I'm wetting it with my e.l.f. Um, makeup setting spray, and I am going back in with that mid-tone lavender color to try to brighten up the eyelid, because right now everything just looks kind of dark, and it looks like somebody punched me in the eye, and that's not cute. So I am going to brighten up my eyelid with that purple, and now I'm going in with that darker plum color, and I'm placing it um, to define my lower lash line a little bit, only coming in about halfway to the middle of my pupil. 
Uh, if you go in all the way, people with uh, more smaller eyes tend to, that actually closes your eyes in. So I go in about uh, halfway, and then I'm actually using the very lightest shade that's in that trio um, under the inner corner of my eye. But as you can see, it's not pigmented at all. And again, I probably would not recommend these. Well, at least I can't say for all of them, but definitely the Lavender Love Trio, I'm not feeling too much. Um, so I'm going back in with that matte tone again. It's a pink, a light pink shade, just to kind of blend things out. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Typically I would have done my eyebrows first before my I did my eyeshadow, but for whatever reason this time I did not. So I'm filling in with the e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and that's the wax side that I'm using. The, the color that I'm using is in medium. I think it's called medium brown. And then uh, now I'm going in with the powder to set the wax. And I'm telling you, this product for three bucks is amazing. I bought two extra ones on my last haul because I love it so much. I use it all the time. Okay, so now I'm going in with this new CoverGirl um, eyeliner that I it's I can't remember exactly what it's called I'll have it in the box below but the only thing about it is it's kind of hard to control because the stick is so short um, it's a felt tip marker type eyeliner um, but you know it'll work the color is really nice and black that you know that works out well so now I'm going in with another new mascara it is the uh, bombshell curvaceous which is their newest uh, bombshell mascara. It's in pitch black. And I have to tell you, this is a pretty good mascara. It's one of those that has the side one and side two. Side one is supposed to volumize and curl your lashes. I tend to have straight Asian lashes, so usually I would curl it with a curler. Uh, but I have to say, this mascara does pretty well on its own. And now I'm using side two. Um, and that's supposed to intensify the look according to the package. I have to say this is one that I would highly recommend. I think I would um, definitely buy it again. Okay, so if you get a little mascara, wait until it dries and then flick it off. Now, this is a new product as well. It is Hard Candy Sunburst. Uh, I think it's called an Ombre Blush. And it's like a blush and highlighter in one. The color is beautiful. I thought that pinkish look would go well with the lavender. And I do have to say, I do love this blush. I just use that lighter area just to do a little bit more highlighting right in the center of my nose and the top of my cheekbones. And it looks good. So the lipstick I'm using is the Rimmel Kate. Uh, I didn't see that number. I think it was six or seven, something. <laughs> I'll have it in the low. It looked a little bright for my taste because I'm going with more of a lavender look. So I took a Wet n Wild I think it's the Fergie Daily color, and I'm just lightening up that uh, pink color, and this gives me a nice, a little bit of a lighter fuchsia lip to go with the purple eyes. I think the look came out great. I would wear this definitely, um, you know, in many different situations. Now, I noticed that the inner corner highlight that I tried to use didn't work so well, so I'm going in with a lighter color in my reveal palette. And there is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.